Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be planting one of these, well two of these, it came in a package of two, Arisima. Arisima? I know it is Jack in the Pulpit. This one is called a Cobra Lily, but uh, a giant Cobra Lily, but not to be mistaken for the carnivorous plant uh, that is completely different. I went to Google Cobra Lily thinking of this one, I already know about the Cobra Lily carnivorous plant, but uh, this didn't show up. It was only, it was only the, uh, the carnivorous one. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is a type of Jack in the Pulpit, and this one here, as you can see, has a long tongue that, that sticks out kind of like a snake's tongue, and also the, the cobra look, it's, it's very, very cool. So this one is the giant one, I don't know, supposedly this one gets to be 30, 30 inches tall, so just like two and a half feet, almost, yeah, two and a half feet, so it get, gets quite tall. Uh, I really like Jack in the Pulpit in general. Um, and uh, I don't have any in my garden at the moment. I didn't have any at my other house. I was trying to introduce some more native stuff. So um, let's start with this one. Uh, it came two in a package, regularly $8.99, on sale for $6.99. So I said, why not? Why not? So these are really, really cool. Love the leaves. Uh, many times, if they get a lot of light, uh, they, they prefer to have shade. But if they do get too much light, they tend to uh, die off in the summer. And, uh, and yeah, they come back in the spring, but uh, if they are in a nice, shady, moist environment, they, uh, they will usually live for most of the season uh, outside. So this one's hardy to zone. I think this one's hardy to zone five, but I think they're actually hardy to, to lower, like four, maybe even three, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, check your area uh, to see if it's, it's good. Supposedly this is also deer resistant. I have not grown it, and I've never had problems with deer, so I, I can't guarantee you that, but uh, many plants are, are uh, deer uh, resistant. For all of you people that are blessed with a lot of deer, that turn your hostas into uh, celery stalks. <laughs> That's so frustrating. You could only laugh. You could only laugh. So uh, with these guys, I was, I was researching online before I planted them. I already knew that they're like a forest dweller, so they, they like um, a dappled shade. Uh, to even a full shade, and uh, and they like um, a humusy soil. They want a like a, a leaf littery soil, so they want to be moist but well drained. They don't want to be in a clay soil. That's what I have. You can still grow them. You just need to really amend the soil so that the the water drains off. What these guys have a problem with is is rot. So you want to make sure that the water is able to drain away. If it sits in a little pondy environment then uh, chances are it's not going to do well for you. So that's what amending the soil really helps with. So if, if you have a really heavy clay, you might want to build the soil up uh, so that uh, you've got really, really good free draining soil on the top uh, and then plant it there and then, and then have uh, the correct coverage over top. Like just a, kind of a raised bed field, just raise your gardens up a little bit. Uh, for plants like this, um, uh, there's a few other plants also that, that don't want to sit in water um, any of your, your succulents or, or cactus that are hardy, uh, they also don't want to sit in water. So treat it similarly. Uh, so, uh, especially over winter, they don't want to sit in, in a, a ball of water over the winter time. So anyway, enough about that. Let's get to the fun part of planting it. Uh, so, I'm using the same old, same old for me. I've got an all-purpose potting soil. This is the Pro Mix high porosity, so it's it's gonna uh, it's gonna be mostly uh, peat moss and um, and perlite. So I might also add some grow stone in there just to uh, to uh, increase the drainage. Again, here's the bag of grow stone. You guys see it all the time. My bag is almost over. I'll have to order some more. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to fill my pot up down here oh here i've got uh, a one gallon pot that's what i'm going to plant these both of them in i'm not going to plant them in separate pots i want to grow them together uh, so i'm going to use that pot and i'm just going to put some soil in the bottom when i was reading online it said to plant them six inches deep so when i looked at this let me bring these out here for you so what you're looking at is this going to be better? That might be better. So I was looking when I when I was buying them to see if it was still good because sometimes when you buy these plants, um, they're good for a short time in the garden center and then they kind of dry out and they're not good anymore. 
So I was looking to see if there was any new growth. So um, so they were, I don't know, I saw the new growth. So I said, okay, they're on sale, I'm taking it. Um, so normally what, what you would do is plant these directly outside. But because I still have about a month before I can plant anything outside at least, um, I'm going to plant them inside so that they don't dry up. Sure, they'll start to grow, but that's that's okay. Um, and then once they're in the ground, I can forget about them. Here's another one. It's just starting to grow. As you can see, you got the nice nice new growth here. So both of them are fantastic. Um, so when I was looking online, it said to grow, uh, plant them six inches deep. Uh, and on the package, it says four inches deep. So I don't know what to believe. So I'm going to plant them four inches deep, maybe three inches deep in this pot. And then when I when they start to grow, I'm going to uh, just plant it a little deeper uh, in the soil outside than, than what I planted it in the pot. I'm just going to raise the soil level up a little bit. So it's around the, the three or, uh, for the around the four to six inch mark, uh, so that uh, that's where it needs to be. I think it needs to be a little bit below the cold the, the frost line. My frost line is deeper than that, but it, it needs to be deeper. I don't know. Just protects it a little bit. So I'm going to just put these two kind of side by side. Just uh, give them nice, good, firm contact into the soil. Usually I reuse this soil that it comes in, but this time I'm not going to do that. Uh, and uh, so when I bring the soil level up, I'm going to bring it up to, there's a little lip. Can you see that lip? I'm going to use that as my guideline. And then that would be about three inches of soil. So I didn't put any grow stone in there. That's okay. This is a high, high porosity, so it's it's got a really really free draining. Um, well, it, it's it's a free draining soil. I don't know where I'm going with my words. So there we go. It's full up to the top. I'm just going to take this over to the sink in a second. I'm just going to water it really really well. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make sure that everything in the soil is is soaking wet. I'm just gonna sprinkle over it a few times make sure that the top is moist I want to keep it sort of on the dry side but just a little bit on the damp side because I don't want to rot anything out because um, it's not actively growing but I want to give it enough moisture to say it's okay it's time to start growing and then uh, once the growth starts to come up and starts to unfurl then I will increase the watering um, so yeah I would love to see what you guys are growing and uh, maybe you're growing some of these as well let me know your tricks and tips uh, again, they like to have a, a shady spot, a, a dappled sun or a dappled shade spot. If it needs to be in any sun, morning sun. Don't put it in an afternoon sun, you'll burn it. So yeah, and the flowers are so pretty. I hope to be able to take some photos of some flowers uh, in the spring. Excuse me, whenever whenever they decide to sprout or, or bloom. Uh, maybe they won't even bloom this year. I don't know. So anyway, this is turning into a longer video than I anticipated. I love to ramble. So anyway, hope you're all well, and until next time, happy growing.